Good afternoon, dear children. Uh, today our topic is the imperative. Now read the instruction how to work with this video lesson. Good afternoon, dear children. Welcome to this video lesson. And today we are going to speak about the imperatives. What the word imperatives means? Well, uh, basically in grammar, imperatives are simply verbs used to achieve different functions. We use it to tell what to do or guiding someone to do something. Итак, сегодня мы говорим о imperatives. По-русски это повелительные наклонения. Мы их используем, когда хотим сказать uh, человеку что-то сделать, просим что-то сделать, либо uh, приказываем что-то сделать. Look at these sentences. Wash your hands. In this particular sentence, the verb wash is imperative. So your hands are dirty and I order to you, I ask you to wash it. So uh, imperatives is the verb used in the base form. То есть это глагол, который у нас стоит в инфинитиве. И обычно повелительные предложения начинаются как раз с инфинитива, то есть с глагола в начальной форме. И как мы видим, в этом предложении нет подлежащего. То есть мы не говорим «а, you, they, wash your hands». Подразумевается, что в таких предложениях всегда обращаются к тебе, то есть Подразумевается you wash your hands, but the subject is implied, но подлежащее оно всегда скрыто. Uh, so the imperatives are used for different purposes. And for example, in this sentence we use um, the imperatives uh, to give an order or command. Let's look at other uh, cases when we use the imperatives. First, as I've told, uh, give orders or commands. For example, you are taking a swimming lesson and your instructor uh, tell you, tells you uh, jump, jump into the pool. Uh, this sentence is an order. То есть, ваш инструктор говорит прыгай в бассейн. And as we can see, there is no subject. We don't say I, you, they jump. Uh, the subject is implied. That is it always means you jump into the pool. Second, uh, we use the imperative when we give directions or instructions. Когда мы даем какие-то инструкции, да? At the beginning of each video lesson, you are reading instruction how to work with this video. And here are some sentences like uh, watch this video till the end or uh, stop the video. Do your homework. So uh, these sentences, watch, uh, stop, do, uh, that is imperatives and uh, they mean that I give you instructions how to work. Okay? Also, um, imperatives are often used in different recipes. For example, add two tablespoons of salt. This is sentence from a recipe. То uh, есть, the word add будет у нас um, Imperative. Also, uh, when you are giving direction for some, uh, to someone how to get to your home, for example, you are saying like, go straight, uh, turn left on the main street. So these verbs, go, turn left, they are imperatives as well. Well, next um, use of imperative is make request with the, ver uh, with the word please. Когда мы говорим просьбу какую-то, да? И в таких случаях мы обычно добавляем слово «пожалуйста», чтобы сделать предложение более вежливым. For example, I'm your teacher and I'm, I tell you, read page 52, please. So this is my request. Read is imperative. The word please can be at the end of the sentence or we also can put it at the beginning. We can say please read the page 52. So the word please uh, makes the request uh, more polite. And next uh, use is giving advice or suggestions. 
For example, I say you don't cross the street here. So I'm worried about you and to cross the street here can be dangerous for you. So I tell you don't cross and pay attention that here uh, the imperative this uh, negative form. Don't cross. Итак, давайте обобщим все вышесказанное. А что такое imperative? Imperative is the base form of the verb. And imperative doesn't have any subject. We use imperative to give orders, or commands, or give directions, instructions, make requests, give advice, give warnings, invite someone, offer something, or to encourage someone. Now let's look how we form imperative sentence. Uh, как, мы, как образуется, да, как строится, какая структура? Есть у нас affirmative sentence, that is positive and negative sentence. In affirmative we need just base form of the verb. And then you add uh, some request or uh, command instruction and so on. For example, write this exercise. So write the base form of the verb and then um, command order. Now let's look at the negative sentence. In order to make negative sentence, we need do not before base form of the verb. And sometimes in, when we're talking, uh, we say not do not, but don't. Don't plus base form of the verb. For example, don't touch this. Чтобы сделать отрицательное предложение, мы перед uh, глаголом, да, перед начальной формой глагола ставим отрицание don't или do not. And uh, as I've already told that subject is you almost uh, every time. Поэтому в наших предложениях тут подлежащего как бы нет, потому что подразумевается, что всегда обращаются к тебе. Uh, so our lesson is over. And I think, I hope that you've understood everything. If you have any questions, please um, write to your teacher. And don't forget to do your homework. Thank you for your attention. Bye. So how do we form the imperative? We need just the verb without any subject. For example, open the door, just a verb here. Negative sentences are made with the help of do not or short form don't. Don't touch that. Дома вам нужно будет выполнить два упражнения. Одно упражнение из учебника и одно из рабочей тетради.